G'day guys, welcome back. In today's video I'm re-addressing the clutch slave cylinder. Um, I rebuilt it some time ago and I will put a link to the video on that. I rebuilt it because the dust cover was deteriorated and I decided also to replace the, um, the internal cup seal because it was leaking some fluid. I've noticed that it's actually leaking still leaking fluid or leaking slightly more fluid than before the two scenarios i'm thinking are one it's just the badly worn the cylinder and it needs to be renewed or two there's just not enough lubrication around the seal and um, around the piston and there's excessive pressure forcing hydraulic fluid past the seal if you've seen any of my previous videos i rebuilt these rear brake cylinders i noticed that when I changed the differential oil, the right rear brake was jammed on after I released the handbrake. So I actually stripped them all down again and I I um, lubricated all the internal seals and cylinder bores with rubber grease. And I haven't had a problem with these brakes since I put them put them back to put it all back together. Handbrake goes on and off, no problems, and the brakes are working probably the best they've ever worked. So I'm thinking that there's the same problem with the um, clutch lathe and that there's just not enough lubrication around the seal and it's under pressure and uh, hydraulic fluid is being forced past the seal and, and out of the dust cover. It's just a theory but what I'm going to do is strip it down and we'll have a look at it. Okay, so there's the clutch slave. Yeah, so I've just noticed that it's um it's leaking fluid out of here. There's fluid getting past the um past the seal. There's a cup seal in here. We'll get this off. We'll strip it down. We'll, we'll have another look at it. Okay, well, I've got the got the dust boot off here, and yeah, there was hydraulic fluid in there. So I'll just use a bit of air pressure to get that piston out. So that's the piston, and that's the cup. pretty clean in there so I've actually got a spare cup seal which came in the parts box with this car it's PBR um, it's a PBR brand which is Australian um, the other seal the newer seal that I put in I think is actually yeah it's actually cut up the seal a little bit um, I just think it's because I uh, didn't put any rubber grease in, which I didn't think you needed to. Um, I thought you could, it just said you could lubricate the bore with um, with brake fluid, but I've got some rubber grease here. It says you can use on brake cup seals and O-rings, lubricates and protects rubber and is a water resistant. I just got that from Super Cheap Auto. It's... Um, it doesn't harm rubber seals it's so I'm gonna put this stuff on and um, hopefully that'll resolve the problem so it says it's compatible with brake fluid so I'll 
put some on the piston as well. Yeah, that's already. I can already, I can already feel that that's gone in a lot better than last time. So I'll stick some on the piston here. So yeah, I think that seal was twisted. Good amount on here. Just pop a bit on the end there too, where we're going to put the the um, actuating board. It sits. Right. I'll get this back on and we'll re bleed the. Um, Master cylinder well, well, we'll top up the master cylinder. I heard that you can just gravity feed these last time I had to feed the master clutch cylinder and then the line But somebody commented that you can just let it gravity feed so we'll give that a go a fiddly job. I'm going to fill up the um, master cylinder. Alright, so this one's the clutch, cylinder, master cylinder, this one's the brake. Hold it. Hold it there. Push it down. Yeah, and up. Okay, pull. So all we need to do now is take it for a good run and um, hopefully we don't have any more issues with it. Um, if it continues to leak, I'll order a new um, clutch slave. Okay, well I've just taken the car out for a big drive, driven about 30 kilometres. It's not, there's no leaks and there's no um, fluid coming out around that dust cover. So we'll just keep an eye on that. Hopefully that's fixed the problem. The other good news is that the um, there's no uh, binding of the brakes, rear brakes. Yep, just ever so, ever so slightly uh, warm. Just where the brake, just where the brakes have been. Um,
doing their job but yeah so those brakes are awesome those brakes are working really well now so hopefully uh, I won't have any further problems with them and I won't have to touch them again other than just flushing out the brake fluid periodically um, as part of the routine maintenance alright well I hope you enjoyed the video I've got more videos upcoming in the future I need to address the um, speedo cable there and I need to take that off from the gearbox and from the back of the speedo and lubricate the inner cable it's bouncing around not hugely but it does bounce when you're driving so it probably just needs lubricating so that's a, a job that's going to be upcoming at some point it's a matter of finding time to do this work on top of everything else I've got a new rear brake hose to put on at some stage and I want to um, replace the bushes on the front way bar the rubber bushes are worn so if you enjoyed the video feel free to like and hit the subscribe button if you want to um, be notified of any further videos thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one